the way this whole started was I sat down at the table and asked if it'd be safe for me to sit there without buying a cup of coffee because I was already jacked up mm -hmm. and I met this guy. What did we talk about in the last hour? Oh my gosh, dude, everything, everything. The world, You're sure it'd be the Dead Sea Scrolls and, and the importance the of that. Book of the Dead. Right. Ben Book of the Dead, uh, making a documentary about homeless people, their life, their struggle, their survival. Um, but immediately you're going into the alt-right propaganda alt -right, too. Yes, or we the main points on that right. We talked about fake news, media. Yeah, man, it's been a good conversation. I love having intellectual conversations. And then we started interacting with people. I was burning sage you know and what? this you woman know? came up. Oh, yeah. And she's like, I need, I need that right I now. I need that energy. Yeah. I know we just got done talking. You know what I you. love about having conversations with actually intellectual people, open-minded people? I love having different opinions without arguing. Stating points, having conversations, actually listening to one another, be open-minded what the other is saying, and who knows, it could change your own whole thought process. Right. And I love that. Love it. We would have to get into details, but we both had a roller coaster of a night with yes. our immediate surroundings that was, and we're parallel. We have parallel life experiences. We par <laughs> we're, we're both Pisces. We're both into film and editing and audio. We're both talkative people, spiritual, open minded. We're just two peas in a pod, my brother. Two peas in a pod. And then uh Sometimes, like the universe, will change stuff up in our reality just to change stuff up. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. I was just noting that. Yeah, yeah. And McDonald's, and like someone can have a bad attitude. Well, let's about go Mc back to McDonald's. I want to get a drink. Yeah, but positive things can happen. So, like, I can have a certain attitude about something. Seeing if I'm uh, as good as I've always been. <laughs> I am as good as I've always been. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, meant to be yeah. sarcastic. That's cool. Yeah, boy, boy. Yeah, take a look at his stripes. I'm solid. Check this out. We can smell bud in here. That is just amazing. I've never like smelled bud in an environment. It's not us, but it's it's around. <laughs> it's cool. Tell tell me your organ story. So at the age of five. Um, my mom and dad split up. They were never married. My mom was young. She was about, I'm going to say, 23 at the time when we moved to Oregon. I was five. Um, I stayed there till I was eight. She died at 26 from cancer out of nowhere. She had a headache, went into the hospital. I can start over if you want me to. Don't start! Go, 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 go! California! Oh, wow, this over? is awesome. No, man, on the same note. That's, want me to keep going? This is part of the atmosphere. Me? Okay. So, me and this dude are having this like life healing experience, and another video will talk. Well, we get up with the parallels in our lives. We're almost the same okay, white so, heat, what, what, uh, uh, height. Weight, everything, parallel, ideas. life experience, ideas. This has never happened. Okay, so at the age of five, I moved to Oregon with my mom. She married my stepdad. So um, one day, she had, she's always had headaches. She went into the hospital, got a CAT scan. Her brain was full of tumors. The doctor said, I don't even know how you walked in here. As soon as she, the doctor told her that, she went into a coma and died four days later. After that, there was a huge legal battle. My grandma spent over $60,000. It was a small town. My stepdad knew the judge. He won. So after he won, he told my family that, hey, he could go back with you guys. And from then on, I have not been able to see my stepdad or my other family, which I loved. I never had a problem with them. They kept them away from me. And so I have a lot of drama in Oregon. A now, you said Grants a Pass, a place Grants, I haven't Grants been but Pass, wanted Oregon. to visit. Yeah. It's, it's next to Medford. Mm -hmm. It's not too far. So you weren't living in Portland, no, but just no. Grants Pass. I've been to Portland. Mm -hmm. but So I have a lot of unfinished business that I need to go finish back in Oregon. I need to go. Do you have family there still? Some, Who's there? I right? have step family, but to me, they're family. They loved me. I loved them. Everything was good.
So I need to I need to reconnect. Okay, so you are not originally from San Ber the a town no, I, I never born say in right. San, San Bernardino. I was born right. in San Bernardino, but at five years old I moved to Grants Pass, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And then my mom died. In Grants Pass? Yes. And I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm just now hearing this. That is a unique experience. See, and I have unresolved issues, but I, I, I started to forgive. Like, I'm working on forgiving both of my parents. Yeah, I'm, I'm forgiving my dad. He was never there for me. And then when he finally was, it didn't work out, so I moved out. I couldn't, it just... It me too, work. at the age of 17, 18. Yeah, I was, uh, I, moved, I moved out at 15 or 16. Yeah. My ejection experience with my mom was 14, 15 on the yeah. birthday. Yeah, my mom died at 26 years old and I was 8. Oh, and wow. That's crazy. So going back to Oregon is a part of that. I need to go back to Oregon. I need to reconnect. I need to finish. I need to talk to them. I need to. To complete, you know? I just need to be completed. But yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls, World War III stage by design, electromagnetic effects on human Tibetan behavior. Book of the Dead. Tibetan Book of the Dead. Documentary on homelessness in San Diego. That's crazy! I mean, that is like a that's whopping... insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh. In Oregon. And Oregon. Unresolved family issues. Both. Just got here in the last few days to weeks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we both randomly went to McDonald's. I didn't plan to go to McDonald's. I was going to go buy weed and I said, hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> both of us had a mild dispute with our living situation yeah, briefly and we had to get out. in our apartments that we live right next door to each other. Right next door. What apartments. the fuck is that about? <laughs>